Beads are loaded on floats and the last bits of costumes are coming together. Mardi Gras prep is almost complete. Our Abby Breidenbach is telling us while many of us look forward to all of the fun in the next several days, emergency response teams, well, they're in place just in case danger strikes. Katie, especially as it's our first Mardi Gras back yeah. after two years, Lafayette parades have already been packed this weekend. Through Fat Tuesday, thousands of people will take to those streets, but a select few will stay back. These people manning the Lafayette Parish 911 call center. Operators fielding police, fire, and EMS calls say a typical day looks like about 700 calls, but they're prepared if this week that number doubles. So the first thing we do is we make sure we have enough staff, and uh, we make sure that uh, the 911 uh, personnel are staffed, extra people during uh, before Mardi Gras, during Mardi Gras, and a little bit after Mardi Gras, because we're going to get um, an influx of calls. Anytime you have an event or, or something like that going on, Nimo re receives, you know, additional calls. Stansbury says the things that lead to 911 calls during Mardi Gras are intoxication and not having a plan. Now, Katie, nobody's asking people not to drink this Mardi Gras, but they are asking that you show up to these parades prepared to hydrate and have a plan, especially for a ride home. You know, and Abby, we were all at the Rio parade last weekend. That's right. You know, Dave and I were riding, y'all were walking. Um, you know, I think that everyone was kind of, except for an incident that happened before the parade started rolling. Right. I feel like everyone was kind of on their best behavior. I think a lot of people were just excited to be there. I agree. Yeah, it seemed like everyone was excited, but I didn't see anyone trying to hop any barricades or anything right. crazy like that. So hopefully that, you know, sets the stage for the rest of the parades. Just everyone go out there with a plan. That's what he was saying. When people don't have a plan, they don't know how they're getting home and they don't know if they're going to maybe eat after they drink, things like that. That's when stuff starts to get yeah. messy. So have a plan. And then I know we talk about like a lot of families go to the parades. Um, right. Something else that's good for maybe parents to keep in mind is maybe putting a little note in their kid's pocket with maybe like their address, phone number, or like their name, phone number. So that way, if they do find a police officer here, yeah, you know what I mean? If I they love get lost that. This from is like mom tips. Like, right. You have all the good stuff.